Hello, Kershaw County. This is Pope Chop. And today I want to discuss a serious matter with you. As you are aware, the Republican primary is now upon us. And the selection of the next Kershaw County Council Chairman is well underway. And I want y'all to know that Julie Burns, who has been in office for eight years, I want to remind you of what Julie Burns did two years ago when Henry the Disaster McMaster called for a state of emergency and started closing down businesses and all kinds of stuff. If you have forgotten, Julie Burns jumped on board immediately and said, great gunners, this virus is gonna kill everybody and grandma and you better go up, we're closing down everything. You need to social distance. That was before the mask but when the mask mandate came out, Julie Burns said, oh, great day, he got him wearing the mask because Anthony Fauci decided, well, you don't have to wear a mask and now you got to wear a mask. Remember when Fauci said that? Listen to this. This is not something that the citizens of the United States right now should be worried about. There's no doubt that we knew that we would get cases here. There is no need to change anything that you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis. You do those things, masks, no crowds, physical distance, personal hygiene, no doubt you're gonna be able to turn these things around. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better and it might even block a, a droplet but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. Make sure you wear a mask. So you wear a mask, then you put a cloth mask over, which actually is much better. Another coronavirus that obviously jumped from an animal species. We don't know exactly how that happened. We have not ruled out the possibility that there could have been a leak from the lab should we have any worries about walking by someone on the street who may be unvaccinated? Not at all. I would have no concern walking down the street past a person who's not been vaccinated and even a person who's been infected because the protection is really quite substantial. And we do know that the science shows now that even people who are vaccinated and get a breakthrough infection can transmit. All of the things that I have spoken about consistently from the very beginning have been fundamentally based on science. So if you are trying to, do, you know, get at me as a public health official and a scientist, you're really attacking not only Dr. Anthony Fauci, you are attacking science. You have to be asleep not to see that. So when Anthony Fauci said all that, well, Julie Burns said, great gun she changed his mind and the science has changed and didn't do any homework or nothing and told everybody to wear a mask. Then, as soon as the big old injection came along, Julie Burns said, this is our only way out of the pandemic. Everybody should get the shots. Remember that. Remember that Julie Burns recommended anything and everything that came from above him. Anything and everything that come out of DEC, which got there from uh, the big federal government, which got there from the hoo hoo hoo, which got there from the Gates Foundation, don't you know? So, he's just an order follower, a youthful idiot with a bow tie. So, in this next Republican primary, we got one candidate running against it. It's Katie Gwynn. And if you wander around, you can see her little kid on the sign say, vote for my mommy. And I would suggest to you, if you want to get rid of Julie Burns and Klaus Schwab and the Great Economic World Forum and all this central planning and everything, that you might consider voting for Katie Gwynn, I mean the little kid's mama, Katie Gwynn. Now, I don't know if she likes Vision 2030 and central planning and everything else, but 
She don't know the ropes to how a county council works and how the bully pulpit works, and she'll have to trust Jimmy Jones for that. And Jimmy Jones kind of likes this here central planning because he wants the uh, Little League World Series baseball, t-ball, or some kind of thing in there. He's had that dream for years and years. That's why the West Walter Reed Park over the honors got baseball fields and everything else. That's his dream, don't you know? Because he loves us and wants to keep us safe this year and have recreation, don't you know? Anyway. Anybody but Julie Burns is better, and there's only one person that's running, so Katie Gwynn's it, y'all. Anyway, that's just something to think about during this here selection season where the R's and the D's get to play with you and me. Till next time, pork chop. See y'all later. See you.